So if you need a hero, just look in the mirror. No one's gonna save you now. So you better save yourself. The sun will come out. Ooh, y'all, that song hit on another fucking level. Like, she said, if you need a hero, just look in the mirror. You Y'all did that intro all by myself, like, I know y'all been hearing me in past videos talking about, oh, I need an intro, I need an intro, and I finally got my intro, so, and I did it myself, and I'm really, really proud of myself. Hey, my babies, I'm back with another video, and as you can see, I got my coils in, I got my starter locks in, and if some is going, like, kind of like, I'm still learning how to sleep with them. I honestly haven't been wearing no um nothing on my head a little sweet but yeah if you want to see more of that journey you can check back in my vlog and i'm also going to do like a full video dedicated just to my locks because i've had hair before but i've never had locks before so i just want to do like the journey just like my journey growing on youtube it's going to be a journey growing with my locks so and i got some good news so i officially have 101 subscribers and my coming out story got um, a thousand views. So <sighs> that just feels so good to say. Like that feels amazing to say because it's just like literally on my coming out story, I was literally just speaking my truth. So just to know that that's all I had to do was speak my truth and be honest and be real. So that is amazing. And I'm very happy about that. I do have to be more consistent. I have been slacking a little bit on my part, as y'all already know, but there's still room for progress. I can't lie, I definitely am happy to be back talking to y'all. I kind of just been like unmotivated to do videos like this because I was so geeky to do my vlog. And I just be acting like I don't be knowing what to talk about when it's a th over a thousand topics that I can talk about. I can literally talk about anything. So let's just get straight into the video. I completely understand some things that can hold us back from being our best selves. Like breakups, those can definitely mess you up a little bit trauma self-sabotaging ways and being scared of your own success it's not even that you think you're gonna fail you think you're just gonna blow up and be super successful and you're just scared and or nervous about that so i do understand that there are real deep rooted problems that can really hold you back sometimes this is not at all cases but sometimes you have to put that trauma or that pain or that heartbreak on the back burner for a while. You literally have to put it on the back burner for a while because you got stuff to do in the present moment. That pain and trauma, you can't handle that the way it needs to be handled, you know? You may literally need a therapist, you know, to work on some of those problems. And some stuff are not in the cards for you to deal with right now. So therefore, you have to get up, you know, and do what you need to do, whether that's working on that business plan, picking up more hours at work, doing more self-care work, you know, doing work to heal yourself the best way you can. Basically, you got to quit holding yourself back. I understand the problem, the thing that you've been through, but it gets to a point where you can't use that forever. And it took me a while to learn this, but... but People really don't care about your trauma. You know, the bill collector, they don't give a damn about the simple fact that you going through this or you going through that. They want their money. You slacking out at your nine to five or your business. You know, your boss don't want to hear nothing about that. You need to do your work, period. You need to be on time. Um, even if you are um, running your own business, your customers don't want to hear you no know, excuses on why their products is late. You know, they don't. They nobody want to hear that honestly sometimes you will need to take a break and you know do what you need to do to get yourself together but in some cases you just gotta really push through it some cases you just can't let that define you and you cannot let that or hold you back from doing the things that you know that you need to do you cannot hold yourself back you cannot let those self-sabotaging ways or habits or mindset hold you back you can't let that past trauma childhood trauma hold you back you can't let that heartbreak hold you back you can't let these things hold you back. You block your blessings when you do that and you delay your blessings. And sometimes you don't always fully block your blessings. Sometimes they just, you just put them on hold. Like, just think about it. It just sounds crazy to even 
think like, oh my gosh, I'm the one that's blocking my own blessings. Like, it's a new year. We don't got time to be blocking our own blessings, delaying our own blessings. We got goals to accomplish, you know? We got things that we have been saying that we want to do, things that have been on our mind that we want to do, and it's time to do it. It's time to put them plans into action, put those dreams into reality, and do what we need to do to be the best version of ourselves. And it's really just as simple as that. Now, it's, it's easier said than done, but at the end of the day, it just has to be done. And I really love the song, um, Kylie, which is after the storm, she says, um, So if you need a hero, just look in the mirror. No one's gonna save you now. So you better save yourself. You just can't give up now. Cause you gotta save yourself. The sun will come out. Ooh, y'all, that song hit on another fucking level. Like, she said, if you need a hero, just look in the mirror. It's just like remembering that God, the most high, you know, the universe, whoever you call it, has literally equipped you with everything you need to be your own hero, to literally save yourself, like, and it's just amazing to think that, like, you know, although we have parents that raise us or guardians that raise us, yes, they were there to help you and guide you, you know, until you grew up, but it's like at the end of the day, you got to save yourself like you are the hero you don't have to look for any like celebrity mentor or guru or anybody that you really you know look up to i mean and it's definitely fine it's great to have mentors and you know take what resonates from people that you are fond of and um, use it in your own way use it in your own lifestyle and stuff but it's just like if you really go within and just be your authentic self and work on all your traumas and heal yourself and even in the midst of that you can still be your own hero oh and that's just really amazing to me so he's saying um no one's gonna save you now so you gotta save yourself because it's like nobody's coming down to save us like we have to save ourselves like we literally have to save ourselves and the simple fact like that, you know, some people really want to help the world. Some people want to want to really help others. But at the end of the day, if you're not at your best self, you can't do anything for anybody else. So it's like, just really focus on being your best self is helping others. Oh, I love this song so much. And then she says, so you just can't give up now. So you better save yourself. And it's like, you may have felt a little low or whatever the case may be, but you still got to get up. You just got to really... Work on being the best version of yourself and I know struggles come in, struggles are hard, but you have been equipped from the most high with everything you need to succeed. Always call on the most high, always call on your higher power, always pray, meditate, do what you gotta do to get through it. Do what you need to do to make yourself feel in a good mood, high vibrational. And also learning to balance your lower self and your high vibrational self because I know I used to try to, I used to try to like not get angry and stuff, but it's like, no, we are duality. We are yin yang. We are high vibrational and low vibrational and we have to balance that out. That's literally like your darkness, your, your low self, that is a part of you. And you just have to learn how to balance that out. And that's what I'm learning as well, because I just want to get rid of the dark. But no, you can. You literally need the dark. Like, you literally need the dark. Can't let people be running all over you. You can't be too nice and things of that nature. So, yes, quit holding yourself back, period. And this video was just to remind anybody who needed to quit holding yourself back. It's not worth it. It's not good for you. Stress, um, beating yourself up, any of those low vibrational things. It's not good for you. You know, it's good to experience it for a certain amount of time. Because then if you haven't experienced such a low, you won't know such a high is. If you haven't experienced such a bad thing, you won't even know how good it feels to feel really good thing. things. And things of that nature. But it comes to a point where you have to quit holding yourself back. You got to get out of that rut. You got to do what you got to do to be your best self and to exude the gifts and abilities that the most high has given you 
and walk your purpose on this earth and all of those thoughts and all of those plans that you have in your mind it's time to get them out and implement them and figure out how you can do it you know if you need to go to trade school if you need to get a license or a certification you know whatever you need to do to do what you are called to, to do on this earth and step into your power you have the power step into it and make greatness be proud of yourself like that person that you are fond of or you may look up to like figure out what you can do to make yourself fond of yourself the way you look at that person you know you can do it you really really can and i know it feels good to really like look up to yourself and like oh i'm so proud of my career i'm so proud of proud of my mindset my lifestyle um my goals that i want to accomplish small or big and simply what I'm doing in my life. You know, it feels good to say that, to look at yourself and say that. So let's get to that point. Y'all can do it. That is pretty much this video, y'all. Just quit holding yourself back. Do what you gotta do to be at your best self. Remember that you are yin and yang. You are duality. So it's okay to get mad sometimes. It's okay. Like you have to exude your light and dark. We were made this way and that's just what it is. Do what is calling to your spirit, your soul, and just do what makes you happy. Get those plans and business ideas out and just simply those hobbies that make you feel good. Whatever you need to do, just quit holding yourself back. We're not doing it anymore. We're not doing it. And I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it resonates. So let me know what holds you back the most. Let me know what has held you back the most in life and how you gotten over it. Let me know, like... Let me know in the comments. So keep your vibration high on this high vibrational day as you should, period.